Hey guys, welcome to the video. So today I'm going to be talking about rave and festival fashion, um, but in particular, I'm going to be sharing ideas and inspiration for outfits that offer a little bit more coverage. Um, this is a topic I've wanted to cover for a while, but it is really applying to my life right now. And I've done some posts about this on Instagram and you guys seem very interested in this topic as well. So I'm here to share ideas, to share recommendations on shops and talk all things Raven Festival fashion. So if you guys are new here, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button down below to join our family. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It lets me know you want to see more Rave fashion videos like this. So with all that being said, I want to dive right into my recommendations. So quick background on how this video came to be. Um, I'm somebody who absolutely loves festival fashion. I really express myself through it. I, get, I usually go all out. I wear like anything and everything um, that I feel comfortable in and I feel like no matter what you should wear something that allows you to express yourself and for some of us that might mean that you want something that is a little bit more modest or offers more coverage because um, everybody's comfort level is different. For me personally I have started to work more events so I have wanted to obviously show up and wear attire that's a little bit more appropriate especially if I'm going to be doing on-site interviews or wor working backstage. I just don't feel comfortable anymore wearing like a full-blown rave like bikini top and booty shorts like it just doesn't feel like professional attire to me so I have been on the hunt recently for outfits that you know offer more coverage in certain areas um, or kind of give me that like cool edgy vibe but it's still like festival ready and it's been a little bit of a challenge so I'm going to share some of the outfits I've styled in the past at events I've worked at um, so up here I'm going to pop up my outfits at ARC Music Festival um, so you guys can see these are actually some of my favorite outfits I've ever done but one of them was super casual it was just a t-shirt from Wasted Heroes and then I ordered leggings from Amazon uh, and I had just like different pops of color to match the ARC theme um, and some platform boots and then this is one of my favorite outfits of all time I loved this this was a top from Rave Wonderland that was like all fluffy feathers the shorts were from AJS design and then I popped on like a high ponytail extension from Lit Unicorns and I just thought this was a whole vibe and loved how it came out and I still felt super sexy and confident and it was amazing so that's option number one. Uh, Ultra, I also was just working at. And again, this was a situation that I was in the press area for a lot of it. Um, so I did end up bringing a t-shirt that I like threw over my outfit some days. And then I would like take it off when I went into the festival. But um, what I ended up doing is day one, I wore a bodysuit that was almost looks like a bathing suit. And I layered a, um, a shrug over it and a mesh skirt because I had a pool party during the day. And then I went straight to the festival and I thought that was still appropriate and a little sexy. Then and the second day I went with a white bodysuit from Amazon and a zebra print skirt from Tasteful Girl uh, and I did like really cool accessories and festival hair and felt super cute in that as well and then the third day I wore um, a halter top from Shop Easy Tiger and I wore these cute little chaps those were a little bit more revealing but with this outfit I did throw a t-shirt on myself when I went backstage um, I've also worked some Elro events as well doing social media for them and I'll show you guys what I wore to that um, in the summer I did a tank top from So Butterfly Clothing, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, and then I just wore like my normal jean shorts. I've worn again like t-shirts, leggings, um, anything that I can just be comfortable in and I can get my job done. And then more recently, I wore this outfit that I loved. It was literally just like a black bralette, a short mesh crop top, and then these joggers that are see-through from Space Island, which were so fucking cool and edgy. So I felt very cool in that. So Needless to say, there's plenty of options out there, but sometimes it can just be hard to piece things together. So I'm going to hopefully give you some ideas today. And then lastly, um, EDC Las Vegas, I am working the event as well. More to come on that very soon, but I'm in the exact same situation of where I need to wear something that covers me up a little bit more than usual, um, but I still want to feel super cute and EDC ready. So I'm currently building out my outfits for that right now. Um, okay, now I want to get into the shops, you guys. So I do... A lot of these videos, and I know I mentioned a lot of brands um, over and over, so I wanted to pick some new brands that I maybe haven't mentioned on my channel yet before, and everybody is going to be linked down below as well, along with any discount codes I have. I will mark that so you guys know. Okay, so the first one I want to mention is AJS Design. I've already talked about them a lot, but I have to say I've been buying from their shop more and more. They're a UK-based company, and what's really cool is there's so many silhouettes on their on their shop. 
you can mix and match and you can pick your own patterns, which I love. So I, I just ordered this romper I'll pop up here. It's one of my EDC Las Vegas outfits because again, super cute. It's still cut out, but it's going to cover me and it's perfect for work. And I picked the pattern that I wanted, which I think it was called like flame or like rainbow flame. Um, very excited for that to come in. And then again, my shorts at uh, Arc Music Festival were, were from here. So they have a lot of silhouettes that offer more coverage. They have pants, dresses, all that good stuff. So definitely check out AJS Design. Um, another one that I just ordered from, I'll just do all my EDC outfits, is I think it's called Bad Inca. So this one, I, I think I was getting ads on Instagram for them. I don't remember how I found them, maybe on Facebook. But I saw these like really cool mesh like bodysuits and my girl Taylor Bruno just wore them to Ultra. She looked fire. So I ordered um, this uh, long sleeve top and skirt that's like see through and I'm going to layer like black um, a bl bralette and black like high waisted rave bottoms under it. But again, like that gives me a little bit more coverage and I think that will be appropriate as well. But they had so many different like full bodysuits, cat suits. They would be really, really good for Electric Forest, just saying. I almost ordered a second outfit for E-Forest, but definitely check out Bad Inca. And then So Butterfly Clothing I talked about already, but that's my girl Ashley's company. I am an ambassador, so I'll pop up my discount code here if you guys want to save money, but I've ordered so much stuff from her. You can get like custom wording put in, so you could put your favorite artist name, so it's really, really cool. I have cropped hoodies from her I have oversized t-shirts I have a tank top like she's got so much stuff that is kind of again like that cool edgy outfit um that's like you know very comfortable very very comfortable <clears throat> so again really good for like electric forest or something or even just like throwing something over your outfit and then the next two I want to mention is astral visions and mystic threads so this is to me, like really, really comfy wear. Um, and I ordered something similar to this from Etsy for Electric Forest because I want to be comfy. But these are these like really cute outfits that have like are custom made. They have all these different slits. So all the designs are different. And again, they come in rompers. They come in long pants, flare pants, full body suits, like the play suits again. You can get custom orders done. So these totally like fit to your body like a glove and they offer more coverage and they're comfortable. So you really can't go wrong with any of these shops as well. So I wanted to mention those. Um, Space Island is another one. Like I showed you guys my Elro outfit. I have those joggers that are like see-through and they have all the patches on them well worth the money I've reworn them so many times to shows but Space Island has really cool stuff really cool pants they have a lot of outerwear so fur jackets like any kind of fur you're looking at definitely check out Space Island they are on the, the higher price point I will say but well worth the investment so I wanted to throw them out there um, Rave Wonderland is another like really popular rave shop um, that's pretty well known and they have kind of like endless options so again pants I was looking at a lot of their pants they have reflective designs chaps again joggers flare pants mesh anything you can think of but they definitely have good options um, they had a lot of skirts as well if you guys need and then again if we're going to talk layering if you want like anything long sleeve or mesh tops stuff that you can layer rave wonderland would be a good one um, next I want to mention Wasted Heroes. I talked about them a little earlier. I have bought, I think I own three or four graphic tees from them, but they're like my favorite graphic t-shirt company for like anything dance music related. They have a lot of house and techno sayings on their shirts and a lot of DJs actually wear them as well. But if you, um, like guys, girls, doesn't matter. I order the unisex stuff. Um, I just really love their graphic design. I think it looks sick. So they're, they're another one that I want to shout out that's more casual, um, and then Wild Thing, I haven't bought from this company yet, but they just popped up on my Instagram feed and they had some fucking sick sets and rompers and play suits again that were so dope. So I need to order from this company at some point, but I'll just pop up a couple examples here. Wanted to shout them out because I feel like their shop looks really, really cool. So that is another one. And then, of course, like Rolita Couture, Dub Love, like there's so many other companies, um, Dub Love in, in particular, who have options, inclusive size ranges, all that good stuff, which is really important. So 
That is kind of everything, you guys. I'm pretty sure those are all the shops that I wanted to touch on today. There are so many more, but these are just the ones that I've kind of been going to recently and that I've had my eye on. Um, so definitely leave me comments down below if you guys have any, have any other shop recommendations. But I will just say like, wear what makes you feel comfortable. Like don't feel like you have to wear a little clothing to a rave. You definitely don't. I see more and more people dr dressing like more casually or comfortable or doing more of like a streetwear look. Um, and like I said, I've been trying to piece together uh, outfits that are a little bit more modest or offer more coverage as well. So you guys are definitely going to see me in more of that at the events that I'm working at. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And again, if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe below and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss an upload. Um, and if you want to follow me online, it's at Emma Capotis on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And I think that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Fall into you.